Jason Perry here back with a special edition with uh, Didi over at Cisco. Um, I told you last time that we're going to check in quarterly, but we reconnected because uh, Cisco has um, some important motions going on with respect to COVID-19. And I want to get this right out there. That And then that means, Didi, we don't have to talk till probably the 4th of July or something. So <laughs> let's... Uh, but but let's hit it head on. So uh, the the topic of the day obviously is the COVID nineteen pandemic and and what the technology companies are doing. We're hearing it all. What what is Cisco in the small business area doing? Yeah. So first off, you know we're all going through this pandemic. You know this is far beyond what any of us, any of you know uh, our customers would have expected. Uh, to see, and uh, you know, we're we're doing our bit as an IT provider, as a large, you know, company uh, helping, whether it's in the communities, helping obviously our customers, our partners, uh, and specifically small businesses, because unfortunately, uh, a lot of them are impacted uh, pretty bad because of the of the pandemic. So. Um, so we can talk, Harry, about some of the some of the technology. That we're bringing uh, and making available, uh, lots of free offers and promotions that are going on. So we can talk about that. Um, sure. We're we're also putting out just, you know, tips and tricks of you know how to work from home, whether it's for small business owners, employees, um, their customers, because uh, you know being we're we're actually veterans of, of working from home in Cisco as a company. Um, you know, thanks to WebEx and some of these technologies that we've brought into the marketplace. So, um, yeah, let's you, talk you, about, yeah. yeah, so let's talk about if, if you could share maybe a couple of offers and incentives or, or, you know, activities that you have going on there. And then I want to ask you a couple of questions about WebEx and the traffic you're seeing. Yeah, sure thing. So, um, the offers are primarily in two areas. One is collaboration. So we're offering a free WebEx license to uh, individuals and small business owners. Um, and as that's basically it's, it's a free WebEx license is, is what we're uh, what we're offering. Um, and, you know, the advantage with WebEx is, you know, it's 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 truly enterprise grade. You know, the calls don't drop. And then the other thing, um, you know, as the as folks work from home, Literally, the perimeter of the enterprise is now not just the office, it is their homes or wherever they're working from. Uh, if you're quarantined, that's, that's where the perimeter <laughs> needs to go to. Um, and so security, especially identity, privacy, uh, all of those things become a lot more critical. So it's not just the ability to provide, you know, high quality video and audio and, and sharing files and, and all the usual stuff one would imagine, but security in particular, Harry, is, 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 a, big, uh, is a big deal, which brings me to the security offers, uh, which is also something that we're offering. So we're offering free uh, licenses on Umbrella, Duo, and AnyConnect uh, as part of our virtual ASA platform. So these otherwise would be, you know, licensed pieces of software, but uh, so we're just trying to help out small businesses. We're giving these out for free. Yeah. Last question. Uh, Cisco certainly has a security reputation within uh, SMB Nation and Telcom. Uh, quite frankly, we did a bunch of stuff with the UC 300 series a number of years ago with you guys, and our audience is pretty well versed in that. So you're kind of the one company that can combine the two. And here, here comes the question that um, the these platforms like WebEx and, and some of the others, you know, obviously the demands through the roof and some of them have been strained. Uh, there's one out there that had a, a security incident, a, a hole. Um, I am not hearing that from Cisco and, and correct me if I'm wrong and I, I, I come in peace, but I, I just, I haven't heard any security matters with WebEx. Is that fair? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's one of the reasons why we're actually seeing you know, even more growth because you know, the first thing is I, I just need to get connected. But then, you know, people realize that unless you have, you know, watertight security on the connection itself, which is what any connect does. Uh, and then you are you actually protecting your endpoints? Because 
you know, I'm, I'm using, actually I'm using a WebEx board. You're probably on your laptop. You've got folks working off of their Android. So the endpoint security is important. And then probably the most important thing, which actually unfortunately made news, uh, was the identity and the privacy of the users. And sometimes, often, you know, you're, you're, look, you're looking at privacy information like credit cards, healthcare information, insurance information. Um, and it, it really sucks when that's compromised. So um, we've actually done integration of a lot of these technologies. So for instance, Duo, which is our, which, you know, checks for identity, which is very similar to, you know, my banking application won't open unless it recognizes my face. So it's, it's kind of, it's really personalized security. Uh, Duo is, does that, you know, and that's when a WebEx call gets set up. So even before the call is set up, your identity is verified. And so it's, uh, it's again, a testament of the integration of security and collaboration that you would be working on for years. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I would concur. That, that's kind of what I was getting at is you have uh, the integration guy, I, you know, vertical, horizontal. It's been a while since I took an economics class, but, <laughs> but you do have the integration. Um, well, I'll tell you what, needless to say, when we talk next quarter, uh, it, it's it's going to be a different talk. I don't know what the talk will be, but most assuredly it'll be a different talk. So uh, keep it safe out there, Didi. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Do you want to know about some of these uh, like mind-boggling numbers that we're seeing? Maybe just one or two. Yeah, yeah no, let's yeah. go. Let's go to overtime, as they say on HBO. <laughs> no, no. So go ahead. I'll, I'll keep it short. So just in in meetings, the number of meetings, Harry, in the month of March, twelve billion meeting minutes wow, that's that. that's like 4.2 million meetings on a daily basis and so we're seeing this like just you know around a quarter million new signups every day for webex it's the, it's like the teams are really struggling to keep up with the demand so that's that's just one of the statistics and on security it's 10x it's exactly 10x the demand because like i said People just wanted collaboration and then they're like, wait a minute, I got to make sure this is all secure. So it's it's 10x. The numbers have literally gone through the roof on Umbrella. It's a 100% increase, any connect, 240%. These are just like, you know, uh, unbelievable numbers. And yes, Harry, I, I I do agree with you. Hopefully next time we're talking, we're, we're past this pandemic and talking about something else. There we go. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, go play that guitar in the background. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Harry. Thanks again. Bye-bye.